we are given f of x and g of x and asked to find f divided by g of x and f divided by g of negative three. For number one, f divided by g of x is equal to f of x divided by g of x. And because f of x equals x squared plus three x minus 28, and g of x equals x plus seven, this quotient is the quantity x squared plus three x minus 28 divided by the quantity x plus seven. Because we haven't learned about factoring yet, we will now determine this quotient by performing long division. We have the dividend of x squared plus three x minus 28 divided by the quantity x plus seven. To begin, we only focus on the first term of the divisor and the first term of the dividend. We need to determine what times x is equal to x squared, and because x times x equals x squared, x is the first term in the quotient. Now we multiply x in the divisor. x times x is x squared, plus x times seven is seven x. And now we subtract the result. Instead of subtracting though, we will add the opposite. So we can change the subtraction to addition as long as we change the sign of both terms inside the parentheses. So this is negative x squared and negative seven x. Now adding x squared plus negative x squared is zero and three x plus negative seven x is negative four x. We bring down the minus 28. And now we only focus on the x in the divisor and this negative four x. We need to determine what times x is equal to negative four x. And because x times negative four equals negative four x, negative four or minus four is the next term in the quotient. And now we multiply negative four times x is negative four x. And negative four times positive seven is negative 28, giving us minus 28. We subtract, instead of subtracting, we add the opposite. So we change the sign, change the sign, change the sign. And now we add negative four x plus four x is zero. Negative 28 plus 28 is also zero. Because the remainder is zero, x minus four is the quotient, which means f divided by g of x equals x minus four. There is one thing we should mention though. We know division by zero is undefined. So notice how if x equals negative seven, we would have division by zero. So we should make a note here that x can't equal negative seven. So now we know that f divided by g of x equals x minus four. For number two, we were asked to determine f divided by g of negative three, and we can do this two ways. Because if we just found the simplified function for f divided by g of x, we can determine f divided by g of negative three by substituting negative three for x in the function that we just found. Another method to find f divided by g of negative three is to determine f of negative three divided by g of negative three. In this video, we will show both methods. But let's first use the function that we just found, f divided by g of x. f divided by g of negative three is equal to substituting negative three for x into f divided by g of x gives us negative three minus four, which equals negative seven. f divided by g of negative three equals negative seven. Now let's also find f divided by g of negative three using a second method. And let's do this on the next slide. f divided by g of negative three is equal to f of negative three divided by g of negative three. Using this method, we determine these two function values and then divide. f of negative three is equal to the square of negative three plus three times negative three minus 28. And g of negative three is equal to negative three plus seven. And now we simplify the numerator and denominator separately. In the numerator, the square of negative three is positive nine, giving us nine plus three times negative three minus 28. 
In the denominator, negative three plus seven is positive four. Back in the numerator, we multiply. Three times negative three is negative nine, giving us nine plus negative nine minus 28, all divided by four. In the numerator, nine plus negative nine is zero. Zero minus 28 is negative 28. And negative 28 divided by four is negative seven, of course giving us the same result. I hope you found this helpful.